we want to award you, thank you your very own <laughs> Celtics golf jersey. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah. Thank so you. I think your brother might try to steal this, but yeah. <laughs> that's for you. Thank you. You can put that one yeah. right in no, front I'm of the Miami. It. Okay. I'm hang it up in my closet. <laughs> um, so we recently saw King Richard. We had like this private screening um, in Cleveland, our last game. Oh, nice. Wondering, have you seen it yet? No, I haven't seen it. I was going to go on Sunday, but it was the yeah. screening was in L.A. and it was yeah. too far. <laughs> did that, did, I'm, I'm pretty sure like the Williams sisters played a huge role for you, yeah. you know, growing up. Mm -hmm. um, our guys, interestingly, you know, it's they're not really contemporaries of, of Venus per se, but, you know, when they saw the movie and they saw mm -hmm. um, what they meant to, you know, sports, not only uh, for women, just for African American people in general, yeah. it's major. But mm -hmm. n interesting enough, you play the, the same role for a lot of people mm -hmm. in society. A lot of girls look up to you, and I just want to say, you're awesome. A Thank lot of you. we've had conversations with our staff, and we're really psyched to, you know, host you today. So Thank you. Thank absolutely. You. I appreciate it. So lightweight. Um, what does it mean to have a little brother? Like I have a little brother, and yeah. he got on my nerves a lot. We fought. <laughs> You guys close, friendly? Yeah, I have two younger brothers and we're super close. The other one's up up there somewhere. Really? Um, yeah, he's, um, this, Cody plays baseball, so it's not so, he doesn't look up to me like that, yeah. as people think. But my youngest, he plays tennis and yeah. he's always constantly watching me play and, and, and having, it makes me want to be better because yeah. of him. And um, I know that he kind of is just a reflection of other kids in the world. So yeah. I try to always keep that in my mind when I'm on the court and yeah. off the court as well. That's dope. What's your, what's the, I know tennis takes you a lot of places. Yeah. Um, I played in the WNBA for 10 years and played 17 years um, internationally. Mm -hmm. A lot of fun places through sports. What's your favorite place to play? Um, my favorite to play, probably New York City. Really? Um, yeah, just the US Open, the night crowd is the best. Yeah. I think the best crowd in tennis. Yeah. But my favorite city is Paris, um, mm. but that's more like off court. Yeah. But they, New York fans are crazy. Yeah. Being American, playing in New York is the best, the best experience. Ever. You're into fashion. Yeah. <laughs> Do you collaborate with uh, New Balance um, for your clothing line and stuff yeah. like that? Yeah. Um, we actually, I actually released my first collection, I think, a couple months ago with New Balance, and that was pretty fun to yeah. do. And um, hopefully, we have more coming. <laughs> yeah. A lot of our guys um, have to go through the process of choosing their, you know, their their shoe company. Jalen yeah. Brown, for example. Mm -hmm is looking for a company that kind of aligns with his brand. What went into your decision when um, you chose New Balance? For me, it was because they're a family company. Um, I mean, it's not very often that, you know, the owner and the, and the owner's son are all constantly involved in the process and yeah. such a big com company that it's not very often you get that conversation, I guess. And yeah. um, I remember compared to the other brands, they were just willing, it was felt more like a partnership than a sponsorship. Yeah. And so, um, I mean, my whole family swagged out in New Balance and oh, wow. whatever they need. Um, the fact that they, um, today my brother got to hit the Fenway Park, he's a baseball player. And oh, that's the, dope. And then the batting cages over there, so they set that yeah. up. And for me, it just they felt like they not only supported me, but my family and their other interests. And, that's um, awesome. It definitely feels like a partnership more than a sponsorship. Good, good yeah. for you. Speak any languages other than English? I'm learning French. Okay. <laughs> um, I should, I, I wish I would have kept up with it when I was younger. Yeah. I've been going to France since I was 10, so. I'm not that good at, yeah. at speaking, but I can understand a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The French, I, I lived in France for um, six years, yeah, I think. Where? I lived um, in a town called Lille, which is uh, about an, maybe in two hours north of Paris. Okay. And then I lived um, down south in Aix-en-Provence. Okay, I live, or not only, but I spent yeah. a lot of time in Nice, France. Yeah, yeah, not far, not far. Yeah, I spent like a couple months there out there. Yeah. yeah. That's, I love France. Yeah, me too. Um, what about Spain? You ever been to Spain? Um, I've been to Madrid, but yep. I've only been for like a week or so. Not. I haven't really got that Spain Spaniard experience yet because it was during COVID and we were yeah. all quarantined and stuff. When you can, I think. I mean, I love France. It's, I consider it my second home for a while. Yeah. Same. Um, but when you go to Spain, I guarantee you're going to be like, wow. Okay. I gotta go. I gotta go yeah. again. <laughs> you have any questions for us? You want to know anything about the guys? Um, did you know who Jason Tatum was when he came over? No, I knew who he was, but the, I get nervous when I yeah. see people. Like, yeah. I get really anxious. And so they're like, you got to give the racket to Aaron. And for some reason, I, I thought, because I have two rackets at home, and I yeah. only brought one to the game tonight, and I thought that I was giving the racket, and I realized, oh no, this is the wrong guy, but I already handed it to him. Yeah. And I was like, oh God. No, nah, we can. <laughs> and my brother is never going to let me live that down. Oh God, yeah. When I told <laughs> so him. Show him that this, I knew he was, but I got nervous. Yeah. I get nervous, all right? No, it's totally cool. I think when he, I told him, I was like, you know, Coco Golf is here, right? And he was like, oh, I want to meet her. I was like, well, going over there. I don't think it was. It 
it wasn't a part of the plan, but <laughs> I knew that he would would like to meet you, especially you know, given who he is. Like he's uh, it's a really cool dude. Yeah. So yeah. Well, it's a super pleasure to have you Thanks here. To have, thank you for having me. I'm excited. Yeah. If you ever, I don't know if you got a chance to visit our um, our training facility at the, the um, Auerbach Center, which is like right I near. I think we visited long time ago like three or four years ago but okay. I, I didn't go this trip but hopefully next trip i get to visit no just let us know we'll yeah. definitely have you over there i think my brothers did i was doing something i was in meetings but my brothers did okay all right cool <laughs> i gotta go you definitely do just yeah. let us know we'll have you back gladly <laughs> Thank you. Thank awesome you.